Good morning, nine minutes after seven o'clock. It's the Tim Dennis Show, and welcome to Tuesday, May the 21st. So as the day dawns, um, you can hug close to you, those you love, and uh, think of them today and wonder what it would be like to be in a place like Moore, Oklahoma this morning, where some parents uh, spent the entire night wondering where their children were, wondering whether their children were alive. Other people, of course, watched helplessly as their houses vanished in the blink of an eye. Massive tornadoes uh, tearing through Moore, and uh, the devastation has been, well, mind-boggling, to say the least. Cody McDonald is a photojournalist with KWTV. Cody, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us this morning. Hi. Good morning, Sam. Tell me a little bit about what you initially saw when you had a chance to to, to see what had happened. You know, I was actually uh, chasing the storm. We were, were doing live reports. We had the helicopter up. We had several of our chasers live on the ground and, and walking this tornado through street by street uh, and telling people, you need to get underground. You will not survive this. This is a violent, massive tornado. Um, and, you know, as, as we're watching it, uh, we watched it from the beginning stages of a wall cloud to a, to a funnel to a small tornado to this massive thing. Um, and, and you're looking at it, and at one point we were about a block away from it, um, and you can just see doors and, and, and shingles and roofs and walls just flying through the air like they're matchsticks. I mean, it, it was it was very, uh, very violent and very large and on the ground for, uh, you know, I, I think it was about 20 minutes. I'd have to go back and look, but it was a very violent, very large tornado, uh, and nothing could withstand it in the center. I mean, I haven't actually toured the damage this morning, but they're saying homes just completely wiped off. All you have left is a foundation, and these are relatively new homes. You know, this this is uh, this tornado took the same roughly the same path as the 1999 tornado uh, that came through more. Um, so these homes were relatively new, about 14 or 15 years old. Um, so if you think about that, these are, are decent-sized homes. They're not, you know, shabby construction. They're very well-built homes, as all homes are here in Oklahoma. Cody, how big a, a community is Moore? Um, you know, I'd have to sit down and look. Um, Moore is, is a fairly decent-sized city. Um, it's a suburb of Oklahoma City, so it's just to our south. Um, the population is about fifty six thousand. Um, so not a small town, no. but not not a huge town either. Tell me a little. I mean, people who hear you say something like "We were chasing the storm," you automatically think of the movie Twister. You think of Helen Hunt and uh, Bill Paxton chasing things, but that's that's not the reality of it, is it? I mean, that's got to be. It's got to be terrifying to be chasing something with that potential for destruction. You know, it is. Um, there were several times where, <laughs> during the chase, I kept thinking back to Twister, the movie. Um, but, you know, the tornado's coming at you. That's the best place for you to be because you can get around it. You know, it's certainly not something we want, um, you know, Joe to go do. You know, it's something that you have to have years of experience and training to do. Um, but, I mean, driving down the streets, I live about two miles from where the path of destruction was. You know, thankfully, my house is okay. We have power. We have no water, but we have power. Um, you know, and watching this thing come towards you, it, it almost sounded like like a waterfall. It was it, the roar, the sound is is unlike anything else. But the closest thing I can compare it to is a waterfall, just a rushing waterfall. How close can you get to something that size without being collateral damage? <laughs> you know, uh, lots of people try to push the limits, but uh, you know, we were about a, a block away. These things are very sporadic. They don't just go uh, you know, west to east or southwest to northeast. They jump around. They move. They grow. They shrink. They'll come north. They'll drop south. They'll, you know, just very quickly move around. They're very sporadic. Um, so you have to be very careful. Um, thankfully, David Payne, the meteorologist I was chasing with yesterday, very experienced with doing this for 20 or 30 years, uh, one of the most experienced storm chasers in Oklahoma, which is, you know, that's saying a lot. Cody, thank you so much for this. Uh, I know it was kind of short notice, but we really appreciate this. And uh, hope, well, hopefully we can touch base again. Thank you, Cody. All right.
Thank you, Tim. Cody McDonald is um, is a photojournalist with KWTV. They are in Oklahoma City. Moore is very close to uh, to Oklahoma City, um, basically a suburb, as he points out. At this point, the death toll expected to rise, but officially this morning at 51. And as Cody pointed out, this is the second major tornado to hit that region uh, in the last 15 years. It was 1999. There was a huge one there that followed almost the same path, and it's the fourth twister to hit Moore since 1998.